you know, really utilizing the platform for my force for good, which is really advocating for the LGBTQIA plus community. Hi, Mega. Michelle Marquez D here, your Miss Universe Philippines 2023. And these are my firsts. Ooh. Okay, so the first app that I check besides my alarm clock app is my email accounts. Admittedly, I'm a workaholic, especially when I see that there are a lot of messages. And then of course I check Telegram because that's where most of my work stuff are. That's where my friends message me also. So Telegram, Gmail, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Well, I joined my first beauty pageant back in 2019. That was my first ever. The build-up to making that moment happen for me was years. I backed out a couple of times until I finally decided, you know what, this is my year. I joined it, I won it, and I represented the country back in 2019. Super proud of that moment for sure. So I grew up on a ranch very small town in Utah. Literally, when you see movies where there's a house and it's in the middle of the field, that was my home. So I actually didn't move back here to the Philippines until I was around 10, 11-ish years old. And then, lo and behold, Melanie Marquez is like an iconic figure here in the Philippines. So that's when I kind of figured out that, oh, my mom's famous as Toot. So around that time. I'm debating whether to say Ken, Barbie, but I think the first time I actually was like super tumitile with a celebrity was Adam from A1. Is it Adam or Ben? Adam or Ben from A1, the boy band. Treat me like a rose. Yeah, that, that guy. Definitely my love for adrenaline-filled activities. Back when I was growing up on the ranch, I would always like sneak out with our ATVs, drive it a little bit too fast, break a couple of bones, and then once I'm all good, I'll do it all over again. So my obsession was really, for lack of a better term, putting myself in danger. So I love chasing that thrill of just life. And that was something that I was chasing since I was young. I mean, arguably adrenaline-filled, activities or sports or anything that just challenged me physically, for sure. You know how when you're younger, you kind of remember these vague memories as a child? I'm pretty confident this was when I was moving to the States from Manila. I, apparently, I had motion sickness and I vomited at the age of three. I vomited in the middle of the aisle, but vomit everywhere. <laughs> when I was in middle school his name was Scott I don't know if he's cute anymore but he was cute at the time and uh, he was just walking down the hallway and then just gave me a little kiss he was cute yeah. first heartbreak that's a tough one so definitely in high school tail end of high school a lot may say that I got cheated on but looking back like I don't even consider it an actual relationship anymore but of course the pain was there the tears were there but then as you grow up, you realize that that wasn't really love and that's not really what you're looking for. But definitely towards the tail end of high school when that ex of mine broke up with me because that ex asked that other person to prom. Little heartbroken Didi. <laughs> I've been training since after Miss Universe Philippines 2022. Of course, I've always said that I'm not perfect. There will always be parts of me that I feel like I can improve on, I can polish. So I have been training consistently since after Miss Universe Philippines 2022. Now that I've won the 2023 title, I actually haven't stopped. I took a brief pause to get through Media Week and all of the publications, media outlets. But pretty sure after the next few weeks, we'll start doing daily trainings for everything. Passarela, makeup, styling, Q&A most especially. And of course, you know, really utilizing the platform for my force for good, which is autism awareness, acceptance, and inclusivity alongside all of my other advocacies as well, which is mental health and really advocating for the LGBTQIA plus community. This has been Michelle Marquez D, your Miss Universe Philippines 2023 for Mega Magazine. Ciao everyone. <laughs>